RV backup cameras, arguably one of the best upgrades you can do on your RV. And today, I'm gonna to show you a great one. Hey guys, Matt here with RCRV. And whether it's navigating through a campground, backing in your RV, or simply just being able to see the cars driving around you while you're going down the highway, an RV monitoring system is one of the best upgrades you can get for your RV. And we are so excited to have partnered with Haloview to introduce their new BT-11 system. Okay, full disclosure, Haloview did send us this system for free to make an honest review video for you guys. However, what they didn't know is that we were already using one of their systems. Now this system right here is the previous model, the RD10. And we actually bought this with our own money and been using it for a couple years now and absolutely love it. So when Haloview reached out to me to try their upgraded system, I was super excited. One of the main reasons I bought their original system was for this monitor right here. It's actually built right into your rear view mirror. When you're not using the camera, you can shut it off and you have a regular mirror. This allows me not to have to keep sticking on monitors and taking them off or putting them on my dash and clogging up. It just, it controls my OCD. Now, for those of you who've been following us for a while, you know that we don't do unboxing videos. So we're just gonna jump straight into the install, get in the back of this RV and install the camera first. Now, to do this install, there's a couple things you're gonna need to get the uh, camera mounted on the back of the RV. First of all, a couple screwdrivers. You're gonna need some uh, isopropyl alcohol to rub down to stick the antenna on here. Now you can see we already have our old camera mounted. I'm hoping that these four screw holes are gonna be at the same points as the other one so I can just unscrew this one and put the other one there. If you are not prepped for a backup camera, you will have to screw into your RV. I know it's nervous when it's the first time. Just measure correctly, screw into it, and then you'll have your points exactly where you need them. Now with this old Halo RD10 system, the antenna actually runs on the roof and is secured all the way to the front nose cap. Both of these kits do come with these stick-on cable ties, which is really great. So I'm gonna just undo this one and try to reuse it for the new system. Now, this Alliance was prepped for a backup camera when we bought it. When I installed the original camera, this cap, I put silicone around just to make sure there was no water intrusion. So you might have to get a screwdriver and just kind of pry it up because the silicone really does stick pretty well. Once you get this open though, you can see we have direct access to our wires. You have your uh, hot wire and your return line. We should just be able to hook these up to the cameras, put it back, probably clean it up and do another coat of silicone and then uh, install the antenna right here on the top. All right, got the power and ground lines wired up. So uh, I'm gonna go turn it on and see if it works. So I'm just plugging this in in the meantime to see, oh, and we've got a signal. All right, so there we go. All right, so the camera seems to be working, monitor's working, everything's great. Now this isn't the final installation. I just wanted to plug this in to make sure that the camera is communicating with the monitor and we had everything wired correctly. So now that I know that the, uh, the monitor's working, we're gonna go back to the camera, secure everything down, and then come back in and do the install in the truck. All right, camera's installed. I got the wire run here. This is uh, the extension antenna. It's got some sticky tape on the bottom. We're gonna use some rubbing alcohol, clean off this roof. And then uh, Halo View also gives you these great little uh, zip tie straps for the top of your camper. So these stick on as well. Run the cable in there so it doesn't flap around in the wind when you're going down the road. Got the camera mounted, got the monitor installed, everything's up and working. I've been sitting here playing around with this camera for a little while trying to learn, and there's a few things I wanna discuss. Some good points and some not so good points. I'm sure at this point in the video, you're a little confused about what's going on. Well, Halo View reached out to us and asked us to halt the recording of this video because they were sending us a new camera. So let's run over to the RV and I'm gonna discuss why this is a great thing. Okay, I'm back here at the RV to wrap up this camera review, tell you about the features of this camera, the things I like, the things I don't like about it, 
and my overall opinion of it. I can't do this, the sun. That's better. So you know that Halo View sent us this camera to review, but in the course of reviewing the camera, learning about it, and shooting this video, they got feedback from customers that said they would like to see some updates, some things they didn't like about the camera, and some improvements that they would like to see. Well, Halo View pulled the camera from the market, contacted us and asked us not to release the video, and not only that, but said that they were going to send us the new rendition of this camera. Now, the model number hasn't changed, it's just an updated version of it, and they've discontinued the first version of it. Not surprisingly, all of the issues that the customers had sent Haloview that they fixed were the same issues that I was finding in reviewing this first camera. So for all of this camera review, understand that I will be talking about the new updated version that you guys can get, not the original one that they sent us. I don't know about you, but I love it when companies actually listen to their customers. That's pretty awesome. Now let's jump back inside the truck and I'm gonna give you a rundown on the system. Here is the heart of the system. This is why I love it. This monitor is awesome. Now let me quickly go over some of the features that this system has to offer. Now the monitor has a built-in forward-facing camera. So you have your reverse-facing camera on the RV and you have a forward-facing camera on the truck and they're both constantly recording. Now on the monitor, by default, you have a split screen. So you see the left one is a front-facing camera and then this is the back of the RV. Now if you touch either one, it'll take it to full screen. So for example, that would be the back of the RV. Now here's the catch. A camera is going to shoot in a 16 by nine format. It's what we're all used to on our televisions and, and on your smartphones, but this is not a 16 by nine screen. So it has to spread the image out through the monitor space that it has. Now, if you want to see the rest of the picture, all you have to do is scroll up or down. So you can see down right at the bumper your RV, or you can scroll up to see way out in the horizon. I really like this feature because as I'm driving, I pretty much only want like a long horizon shot so I can see the cars coming on the highway behind me. Now let's go over some of the features of this camera. If you swipe up from the bottom, you have your menu item. This is where you can pause recording. This is your settings button. So you hit that and it goes into a settings menu. You have a top and bottom. This is for all your camera settings, for the brightness. You can also enable or disable the blind spot monitoring here. You can choose the speed at which it kicks in. So right now I have it for anything under 18 miles per hour. I won't get notified. Uh, you can adjust the sensitivity of it and what time the screensaver comes on and stops showing. And then on the bottom one, you have all your basic settings for the actual monitor and storage unit. You also have the ability to turn on and off the microphone and the ability to see all your recordings. So this is a library of all the recordings that it has recorded. Now, I tried to get a recording of the blind spot monitoring. It will have two red lights here on either side of the screen that flash and there's a little beep that comes with it. However, recording with your phone and a selfie stick while driving a truck with a big RV attached behind it, it's not the safest thing in the world. And after a couple of tries, I just gave up trying to record it. It's a pretty cool feature. And with the updates, it now auto calibrates for you right out of the box. Real quick, let me go over some of the features that make this unit different than most of the rear view monitoring cameras that we've used in the past. First and foremost, the monitor. I absolutely love it. Us being part-time RVers, I like a monitor that I can just leave in the truck. I can turn it off and just use it like a rear view mirror or when I need it, I turn it on and I have a camera system. I also like the fact that it has a forward facing camera. Now, when we're not connected to the RV, the forward facing camera is still recording. I like that peace of mind on my day to day life where I have a dash cam just in case something happens, I have it recorded. I like that. The system also has GPS tracking that will actually show on screen and you can customize this to what you want, showing the time, the speed, whatnot, you can turn some of these features on, you can turn them all off, it just depends on what you wanna see, but it's still recording that data, which is nice. So you know that this system is constantly recording, both the front and back camera, but here's the cool thing about it. It's got a crash detection system. It's got a built-in accelerometer, so it can tell if you've been in a, in a hard car crash. What it does is it automatically flags the current video and locks it, so it cannot be erased. If you understand how these camera monitors record, there's an SD card that goes in there. And once you fill up the memory, it starts overriding itself with the new videos. Well, any of those videos that have been flagged from the accelerometer, they won't erase. So they will stay there even as the card rewrites itself. Those videos will stay there until you manually go and delete those. That's a really cool feature. Obviously, the blind spot monitoring system is really cool to have in a, 
and a rear monitoring system with your RV. The first iteration of this was terrible. It would never auto link. It would never auto calibrate. You had to go into a setting menu and try to line up the horizon and the lines of the road. And you pretty much had to stop in the middle of the road to do that. Halo View has fixed that. I can tell you this updated version out of the box, auto calibrated and worked as soon as I plugged it in. Another point I have to make is about the signal range because it's awesome. The first model we had that we actually purchased ourselves was the RD10 system. And that had a cable that ran the whole length of the roof of the RV to the nose cap to ensure that you had a good signal to the monitor. That was great. And I didn't mind that at all. With this new system though, you don't have to do that. It's just a short little cable that goes from the camera to the roof of the RV in the back and it reaches perfectly. I have a great signal on the truck from all the way in the back of this 42 foot rig. And the last point I wanna make about this system is the night vision. Now, of course, I'm not at night. You can see the sky is just perfectly blue, but the night vision on this camera is amazing. You actually get full color images at night. It is darker than what the camera is looking right now in the video. It's the resolution of the iPhone camera. It tries to brighten up dark spots, but this was really dark. My headlights were on and you can see in the monitor, I have full vision and full color. That's awesome. This is probably the first monitoring camera that I actually see full color and not just that black and white infrared picture you usually get. All right, now for the cons. And I really only have one. There's possibly two cons depending on your style that you like in a, in a monitoring system. My number one con is the material of the mirror screen itself. Now, not the monitor. When the monitor's on, you have a crystal clear picture. But when you're using this monitor as a rear view mirror, the reflection at night is a little blurry to me. During the daytime, it's fine, and it really does look like a normal mirror. It's not till when you're driving at night that you can actually see it. And what I mean by that is the headlights of the cars behind you in the mirror, they, they look blurry and they kind of distort the picture, and it's, it's a little annoying to me. Now in Halo View's defense, the first camera they sent me of this BT-11 system did not have that problem. They recently changed the material of the mirror monitor because this was actually a request they got from a lot of customers. A lot of people didn't like that the mirror was so perfect that you get all the headlight shining in your eyes. So I think their solution was to kind of disperse it, which is really what it looks like at night. When you look at headlights, it almost looks like there's a diffuser kind of put into the glass that kind of diffuses the light. It does make it so it's not so bright in your eyes, but for me, I don't like the blurry look. I would rather deal with bright lights and get still crystal clear reflection versus uh, having it diffused. It just may be my personal preference. The second potential downside of this is that you cannot connect any more cameras to this system. It comes with the forward facing camera and then you get the rear facing camera on the RV and that's it. You can't add the side marker cameras on your camper and build your system out. Halo View does provide a lot of camera systems that you can do that with, but you have to understand with the compactness of this monitor, there really would be no way to do that and be able to see four or five cameras on this tiny little monitor. So it is limited to the two cameras. For me, that's not a problem because I'm old school and use my mirrors when backing in mostly and really just use this monitor to make sure that there's not like a picnic table behind my RV as I'm backing up. A lot of people do like the side marker light cameras and would have to go with a different system from Halo View. So overall, guys, I got to tell you, I absolutely love this system. It does everything I need, especially being part-time RVers. I love a camera that I just don't have to mess with. I can just leave it in all the time. I have a camera when I need it. I have a rear view mirror when I need it. And I have a constant recording front facing camera for all the times. And I also love standing behind a company that really does care about the products they're putting out and care about the consumers. That says a lot to me as a consumer and honestly, as a content creator. You know, that's kind of how we roll. It's part of the reason why we chose an Alliance RV. And this is also gonna be the reason why we love going with Halo View. So I hope this video helped explain a little bit about Halo's View new BT-11 system. If you guys have any questions about this system, something I didn't cover, please feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll answer it as best I can. And in the meantime, in between times, we'll see you out there.